Friends and family members came together in Prince George's County today to say their final goodbyes to a Maryland surgeon who died of Ebola. Dr. Martin Scalia contracted the illness while working in Sierra Leone. He passed away earlier this month after being transferred to Nebraska for treatment. Richard Reeve was at the funeral service in Landover today and he joins us now live in the newsroom with how those who knew the doctor are remembering him. Richard. Well, Autry, as you can imagine, it was a very emotional service. Martin Scalia remembered as a tireless surgeon, a remarkable leader, compassionate with his patients. He and his family were and are people of strong faith. Salia also seen as a man of courage willing to go into a hot zone to save lives. It was a small, quiet and dignified procession outside St. Mary's Catholic Church in Landover Hills. This service, a time to honor the life of Dr. Martin Salia, who died November 17th at an Omaha hospital after contracting Ebola. Salia, survived by his wife Isatu and two sons, who now live in New Carrollton, had been a surgeon at a Methodist hospital in his native Sierra Leone. Although he didn't directly work with Ebola patients, he was diagnosed November 10th and brought to the U.S. on the 15th in an unsuccessful effort to save his life. Friends describe Salia as tireless and dedicated to helping those in need. From knowing his wife and his children, it has to be a loss for the world. And I really hope that his death precipitates an end to the suffering that people are having right now with Ebola. This guy has a permanent resident in this country and decided to go back and sacrifice for his people, which means he's exemplary, he's extraordinary. I'm sure that he came into contact with Ebola patients whether he knew it or not. And he was a smart enough diagnostician that when the test was negative the first time, he turned around a couple of days later and had himself tested again. Said, I feel like I've got it, and he, he was right. Now, in an interview taped months before his death, Salia said he felt his service in Sierra Leone was a calling from God. He told friends, I didn't become a doctor to get rich. I did it to save lives. And most agree he did. In the newsroom, Richard Reeve, News Channel 8. Richard, thank you. And in the meantime, the World Health Organization says the number of people to contract Ebola has now passed 16,000. Nearly 7,000 of those people sickened by the virus have died. Liberia has recorded the highest number of cases and deaths, but the infection rate is slowing there, and the disease is now spreading fastest in Sierra Leone.